Today we're going to show you another way to add a nice custom touch to the front of any 2015 through 2017 Mustang from Exelum. This custom running horse emblem from Exelum will be a direct replacement for the factory grill horse on all 2015 through 2017 Mustangs. It comes in a black chrome finish for a custom touch when it's turned off. When you add power to it via the included Wi-Fi controller, you have your choice of a bunch of different whites to match your headlight and pretty much any color you would like. For this installation, you need a quarter inch ratchet, seven millimeter deep socket, 10 millimeter socket, small flathead screwdriver, drill, and a three quarter inch or uni drill bit. Our 2015 GT already had an Exlume single color horse installed on it. So we're gonna show you some quick stock footage of how to remove your factory horse for even the installation of our multicolor horse. To install the new grill emblem, we have to get access behind the grill. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove our radiator cover by removing all these little push pin clips. All right, now if you want to, you can honestly probably get your hand down underneath this but to make it easier, just remove these two nuts here, and we're gonna remove the latch. So plug that and you can put it up here out of the way. Since it's going to be hard to see, we're gonna show you this process with an emblem we previously removed from another car. These emblems are held on by these little washers. They're basically like a push-on metal retainer. Uh, what you wanna do these are honestly kind of hard to get off the plastic tabs. The easiest way to remove your factory horse, simply to get down there with a metal small screwdriver, a little plastic pry bar, whatever, and simply just break off all the tabs and the horse will pop right off. The new emblem has its own studs and its own retainers. They're all included with the installation, so you do not need any of the factory hardware. So again, just breaking these off is the easiest way to remove it. Let's get the tabs free. Just give it a little bump. It'll come right off. All right, we're ready to begin the installation now. And our x loom horse is gonna use these three mounting locations. One here, one down here, one in the back. This middle one here is a factory location, but that's where our wiring harness is gonna have to go through. So the first thing we have to do is drill that out a little bit bigger so this harness, and particularly this plug, can fit through. Exelum includes some factory Ford retainers to hold the horse in place and to give us more room to get down there, we're going to pop off our hood latch. What we do is reach down and press these on the edge of the studs to get it started, and then we'll use a socket to push it all the way on. Once you have them started, grab a deep socket, six, seven millimeters, somewhere in there with the ratchet, and you can actually put it on the stud this will let you get some leverage to push them all the way down. And that'll lock your horse into place. All right, now we're gonna start fishing our harness up. We wanna follow this factory wiring harness is the easiest way to do it. Fish that up through there. Again, the harness is pretty short. So what you wanna do now is grab your driver. I'm gonna fish that up through here then. back and wire tie all this later once we confirm everything works properly. We're starting to make our connections now at the controller. You've got your red, green, blue, which go over on this side. And you're also gonna put the white 
into the black one on this side here. And this black wire is part of this harness. It's actually gonna connect on the other side. Over here on the other side, the black and white actually going to go together. It goes into the negative here. And the red goes into the positive. Now these two connections on the other side of that harness are gonna power the controller. The ground here, white, is actually gonna to go to ground, any more metal on the car. The red, we're gonna tap into our headlights. I do have other options here. You can put the red onto a switch, so you can power it by a switch. On our case, we're gonna plug into our headlight, so it's powered by the headlight since we can turn it off with our Wi-Fi controller. What you do here is reach back. You can actually reach into the headlight. Find the harness and then you can unplug it and fish it out. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna tap into the purple wire. Now again, we already had an excellent one here before, but this is a tap that's gonna be included. You tap into the purple wire there, simply loosen the cap, put the red wire in the center. And tighten the cap back up. That connection made, I can plug the headlight back in. We're gonna use this bolt right here for our ground. Our connection is made before we hide the wires and put it all back together to make sure everything works properly. It is designed to work with your lights, so just turn your marker lights on and the horse should light up. When you first plug it in, it's gonna flash through a couple different colors, because again, it is controlled by Wi-Fi, so you have to download an app on your phone. So you go to the App Store on an Apple or go to Google if you have an Android. Download Magic Home Pro. Now, we have it set up already, but what's gonna happen is basically once you have it connected, it's gonna tell you to connect to a Wi-Fi network. What you can do is you can click on connect to Wi-Fi network and it's actually gonna connect your phone to this. So what's gonna come up is gonna be LED and then a random number after it. That's actually gonna be your Wi-Fi controller. Once you connect to that, it's gonna tell you to connect to whatever network you're using. In our case, we have our CJ Pony network. And once you do that, the device will pop up and you'll have all your controls. And again, once you get into here, you can pick colors, you can change the hues. Then you can go into the functions menu here. And you've got different color fades, jumping changes, white strobe light if that's your thing. There's a seven color fade, you can pick color you feel like blue. It'll actually go through just the different blues, different yellows different purples. If you also go back into colors, you can go into here, and here's where you can actually pick the temperature and then match it to your headlights if you just want to have it be white. And again, there's different temperatures available depending on what kind of lighting that you're looking to use. But the colors is kind of the coolest thing with what this does. I said you can really pick a color that you think really fits whatever you're doing with your particular car. Now with this, again, keep in mind if you have just the white light in the middle, it might be okay on the road. If you've got colors, you're probably eventually gonna have a problem. What you can do with this though, is you can use this control and you can shut it off. So that way, if you wanna turn it on for a show or parking lot, whatever you're doing with it, then you can turn it on via the remote here. But again, I wouldn't suggest driving with any color other than maybe white. All right, once we've verified everything works properly, we can go back through 
We're gonna zip tie everything safely out of the way, reinstall our latch, hide all of our wiring, and then your installation is gonna be finished. Because of the design of the washer, there actually will be marks on the latch right from where your factory was. So just put it right back there. And your installation's finished. The controller for the X-Plume horse will give you pretty much any color you want. Again, I do want to mention if you're driving down the road, definitely leave it white or off. But if you're at a car show, you want to support like a charity, like if you're a big fan of breast cancer research, you want to rock the pink, it's all kinds of color options for this. As far as the installation goes, it really isn't that difficult. I'd say hour, an hour and a half, back on the road in no time. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you click on the CJ button so you subscribe for future videos and click the corner up here for more videos for your Mustang.